guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be continuing the crack effects i want to show you guys so for some reason i always see some vfx online that i really like but when i look at the effect itself the technique they use to create the effect i might not even have the knowledge of doing it so i want to show you some trick and how i really make this thing really look nice Okay, first thing I want to show you now, if you look here, right here, you see that there's something going on here. We have a black, maybe something like, I used to do this with a, something like a black texture, but it's not really texture. You can see it has a crack and everything going on in it like a stone. So the way I do this is to just to mimic the road texture. You can, you know, we all know how road texture looks like. So that's how I used to do this. Okay. So for me to do this, the way I normally do it in my old videos, you can see the way I do it in my old videos, I always paint it with texture painting. But for some reason, you might have a bad UVs and your UVs might not even be good. So if you have a bad UVs and you want to do texture painting, the outcome will not be really nice. Okay, so for this, I'm going to show you the best way you can do this because with this, I don't even care about the UVs I just do it procedurally so everything I want to show you you can do it procedurally so now let's go back to it okay so for this let me just drag this aside let me create another cube here okay so for this you can see that we have the most basic shape so when you go to the shading right here add a new let's show to this Okay, what we want exactly is to separate this cube. Okay, let me just show you what I mean here. When you just press Shift A, go to the texture. Now I'm going to search for gradient texture. Okay, now we have gradient. So when you just click here, I use Ctrl Shift and click. If you turn on Run Regular Add-on in Blender preferences, you will have this. So I have something like this. You can see that it's really on the side. So what we have to do is to just to rotate this, then make sure we have the mask on the top and maybe the white on the top and the black at the bottom, anyhow you want it. Okay, I'll just press Ctrl then T to bring up the mapping node and everything. So in this coordinate here, I'm going to tweak this to have the correct side and the rotation I really want for this. Okay, so for this rotation here, I'm going to rotate on the z-axis. So you can see what happens when I rotate to the z-axis. So I'm going to go to the y. You can see how I rotate it to the y. Okay, so by having this, now I can just bring up another node, which is Shift A, Converter, then Color Ramp. We all know this node. Okay, now what I can do is to, when I tweak this Color Ramp, you see what will happen. It will drive this white up. You can see exactly what it's doing. And this is very much the better way of doing it. So I can really separate the texture now. So let me show you how I can separate the texture. So Shift A, shader, then a mix shader. So drop this here. So I'm going to duplicate this. I just want to show you how you can separate this yourself. Okay, I'm going to give this, let me leave this white and leave this, this something red, any color just for the video. Okay, now you can see that this is what we are looking at. And when I drive this color output to the factors of this mix shader, let's wait for it. Now you see what is going on. Alright, so if you don't want this color to be at the top or you don't want this white to be at the bottom, you can just invert it. You can always invert it. Shift A, go to the color, then select an inverse node, then put it here. So you've inverted it and you should have this at the bottom and the white at the top now. You can see exactly. And you can still go back to this to really do it the way you really want it. You can see, you can do it the way you want it if you're tweaking, just tweaking things. And it's better for you to do it this way if you have, especially for those that don't really know how to UV unwrap because I also don't know how to UV unwrap. So I found this way very much better and very cool. So the next thing I'm going to show you now how I do the crack. Okay, now for the crack, let me just drive it. Let me just put this back. Then what I'm going to use for this is a plane. 
all right so for this let's go to the shading you can see everything i'm doing is procedurally make so you can just go back and tweak anything you like or really not like something they can tweak it okay add a new texture so for this i'm going to use a texture called voronoi okay so as for this voronoi so i'm going to change this runner to 4d then for this i'm going to change it to distance to edge so when you just shift control then click if you have the road regular add-on turn on you can have this you can see that this is already cracked so when you, so you press t control t then you can scale this the way you like even the scale here, you can just tweak it, you can see. You can see we already have the crack, you can see. So, because this crack is even so basic, you can see the lines, everything is very straight. And what I did here, is, you can see what I do here, is very much noisy, you can see everything here. So, what we're going to do is to add a noise to this. Okay, let's go back and add a noise. Okay, so I'm going to just press Shift A then add a noise texture so for this noise texture i'm going to put here into the w here so this will drive this and when i increase the detail you can see what is going on in the detail okay so let me just pull the scale back you can see then i have something very very crack and this is even better i like it this way you can see the crack all right so for some reason you might not have you might not want to have crack in all of this texture you can see you now the display you don't want everything to be cracked so you might want the crack to be in a certain side like i do here this crack is not all over here. when you check here you can see that you don't have the crack and it's fading away something like fading away all over here so you can do that also okay so everything is procedural it's very very flexible the way i'm showing you right now okay so let's just say you don't want the crack in there okay so what we can do is to add a gradient texture shift a now add a gradient texture so when you check this gradient you can see everything is fall off to the side so press ctrl t again and for this part it's very very tricky you have to tweak this part you can see the way I'm doing it, we have to tweak it. Okay, so you can see that we have this on this side, so you can use this to drive this texture. When you press Shift A, let's go to the color, then set mix RGB. Now you can tweak this. So when you have this to the bottom, like so, let me just make sure this is black. Okay, and then you can use this as the factor. So to drive it you can see now we have crack here you can see and there's no crack here so this is how to use gradient and if you don't want that you want the crack to be on a certain place or so let me just delete that then to three once again so you can see that this is linear when you check here you can change it to sphere now what this will do is to make sure this is on one side so it's not really on one side you can just tweak it back to the middle it's very very tricky you can trick it back to the middle you can see and the scale you can affect the scale let me just say point seven let me just two here you can see two then let me just put two to the, all over the texture okay now let me just drag this to the middle you can see it's very very tricky like i said Okay, let's leave this here so you can use also you can make sure this drive all this crack into the middle so now you can see that everything is at the center and we don't have crack in all over so this is exactly how to do it and this is exactly how i do this let me, let me show you this you can see i use this and i use color ramp to make sure it's very very much clear in the middle so if you don't mind let me show you how you can use color ramp also for this so you see then converter and then add a color ramp just to make sure we have that white shiny you can see in the middle very much clearly you can see exactly what i mean here okay so this is how i do my effects and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you learn something just like the video share 
and don't forget to subscribe.